we can play some games on here. They've got something instant app freaking me out right now. I can play the game instantly. <laughs> Is this Doom? Oh my god, I just <laughs> I got the instant games. <laughs> it just takes me just took me to a web browser and uh, all of a sudden I'm shooting. Okay. All right, I'll take it. So I featured this smartphone brand a little while ago. It was new to me at the time. It's gonna be new to a lot of you as well. It's called Infinix, and it may have recently become available in your area. It's all about the value for money. It actually kind of follows up on some of the phones I've been starting to cover here on the channel, targeted at different price points, other than, you know, the flagship $1,000 type of thing. This one is gonna come in around 250 bucks. It's the Infinix 08. And one trend that I like to see happening here, as well as in some other budget devices, but actually kind of rarely at this price point, is fast charging. So this one is gonna have 33 watt fast charging with a 4,500 milliamp hour battery. Some other specs on the 08, 128 GB storage, eight gigs of RAM, Android 10, 48 megapixel plus eight megapixel on the front. So that's a fairly high resolution selfie camera. The rear 64 plus eight plus two plus two. There's a macro camera on here. It's gonna have the Helio G9010 processor on the inside. Again, it's a consequence of the price point and the target. It's not gonna be a Snapdragon in there. 6.85 inch FHD plus, but it's gonna have a 90 Hertz display, which again, we're starting to see this type of spec pop up at more affordable prices. It has a fingerprint scanner, which is on the side of the device. Apparently some liquid cooling technology as well. Anyway, as you could tell, I have a few of them on the table here. The color is called Silver Diamond and the extra five units are actually gonna be for giveaway. So you can head over to my Twitter account and the details will be there. I'll put a tweet out. It's a lot of giveaways going on over there. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure you're following me on Twitter as well as subscribe to Unbox Therapy here on YouTube. Okay, so let's crack into the Infinix 08 and see what we are working with. Okay, once again, we get a better idea of the specs on the front. Pull the device out. I'm gonna put it to the side for a moment and check the other items inside of the package. So there's a little bit of paperwork, a SIM card tool. We have a case to get you up and running. This is a standard kind of clear case. You've also got a headset and it's a 3.5 mil headset with an inline microphone. So I assume that means we have a headphone jack on the device. There's also your USB-C to type A cable and this is the charger that I was talking about, capable of 33 watt charging on a device. When you convert it for US dollars, that comes in around 250 bucks somewhere in there. All right, so the most striking thing, that's sort of where my eyes go right away, is this hole punch style cutout, which showcases two front facing cameras rather than the usual one. So it's this pill style shape which is gonna give you one kind of standard focal length for a selfie, and then you're also gonna have the wide angle, which I've been a fan of in the past for the group shots. You just wanna fit more people into the frame. I'm gonna remove this front sticker and the rear one. And that is the diamond silver, is that what they're, silver diamond, and the diamond theme sort of follows through to the rear of the device with the shape of the camera, cutout camera module. I actually kind of like this symmetry thing they've done here where even the flash is, it sort of fits in line with the various cameras. This silver color has a kind of, it has a kind of rainbow effect depending on the angle that the light is hitting it. So it's not just straight up silver, it will actually reflect a variety of colors and I hope you can pick that up on the camera. As we look around the device over here, we've got the USB type C connector, speaker unit. That's your 3.5 mil headphone jack. SIM card tray is on this side. And then over here, you have your power switch doubling as your fingerprint scanner. I'm a fan of these. They tend to be a little bit faster 
capacitive buttons on the side of the device when I compare them head to head with a lot of the in-screen fingerprint scanners that you will also see in smartphones, plenty of smartphones in 2020, so I don't mind that. You're probably gonna have some face unlock options as well. You have, the, you have your volume rocker up above there. Now I'm gonna go ahead and see if this has some battery on it. Ooh, look at that, some zebras. I'm curious about the display setup. I always wanna check here first when I hear that there's a high refresh rate. I wanna know what is gonna come with out of the box. So if I head over here, you can see it says 90 hertz, smoother animations, also an option for 60 hertz for longer battery life, and then an auto switch for a refresh rate that's variable depending on the situation, maybe if you have a game that calls for it. Remember, the thing about these higher refresh rates is they don't just make the phone feel snappier when you're in the OS, sort of moving around, scrolling text and things like this, but they also can work within certain games that don't have a capped frame rate and can actually take advantage of something like 90 FPS. There's not a lot of them, but I've tested it on a number of devices in the past. This gives you your best look yet at that pill style cutout in the top corner, how that's gonna look on the device comparative, uh, how you're, you can get your screen to body ratio appearance there. All right, so strikes me right away, obviously I'm dealing with an LCD display. There's no OLED here. Now I have to adjust my expectations for the price point. Uh, obviously I've examined many more expensive devices that may have OLED technology but you're just not gonna find that for the most part at this price point. So you have to make the adjustments in your perspective when evaluating something like this. I'm gonna go ahead and just load up a YouTube video real quick, get a sense for the speakers as well. How about a Lou Later episode? Get a sense for the dialogue volume over here. Screens, Galaxy Fold, Z Fold, new one coming up. Uh, the, the flipping, you had the Razer, Everybody's trying to figure out what's So it's fairly loud. It's lacking a little bit in the low end. Uh, you know, it's a, I'd say it's kind of an average smartphone speaker. It's gonna get the job done. How about we jump into the camera now? So it looks like we have a 1X, a 2X, and a 0.6X on here. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'll just take the 1X. By the way, by default, it's in a, a sort of AI camera mode. I'm gonna snap this real quick. 1x, 0.6 for the wide angle, and 2x on the zoom. And then I guess if I wanted to do super macro, that's a whole different setting in the camera section, and I'll just kind of come in here and try to get a really close focus maybe on this text right here, we'll see. All right, so there's your macro. You're picking up the steel and the tiny text on the tool there. And if I just scroll through, that's your 2X zoom. There you have your wide and that's your standard camera, which is gonna be the best performer of the bunch. So you are gonna get some camera versatility in here, get all your different focal ranges covered. Now, the other thing I wanna try out is this side-mounted fingerprint scanner. I wanna check the speed on that. Does also have an option for face unlock. I'm gonna do the fingerprint though. This is straightforward stuff. It's just like an in-display, except it's over on the side. And the nice thing about this implementation is that's where your power switch is anyways. So your thumb lands there, kind of by default, and then it's unlocked before you know it in a split second. Let's see how fast this one is. I hope it's a split second. Yeah, it's a split second. Look at that. And that's one thing you kind of miss out on to a certain extent with the in-display. Now, the in-display has the advantage if it's on the table, you can reach up and touch it versus this one where you gotta pick it up. But once you're there, it's almost instantaneous and your thumb wants to rest there anyways. So I'll put up with these. One thing that does happen though, when you do uh, slam the fingerprint scanner in there, you often end up with a slightly thicker device. Now let's go ahead and see if we can play some games on here. They've got something, instant app freaking me out right now. I can play the game instantly. <laughs> Is this Doom? Oh my God, I'm just... <laughs> I got the instant games. 
<laughs> it just takes me, just took me to a web browser and uh, all of a sudden I'm shooting. Okay. All right, I'll take it. A little bit of danger dash. There it is. I, I think I, I went longer than you expected there. Yeah, some pretty loud volume. You can game on it. Uh, I know that probably people have questions, especially those that have been used to having a Qualcomm chip, for example, and you're wondering, can I, what can I do? Can I play some games? And I've seen this device and this particular chip tested. It can play pretty much any title you want to throw at it. It's not going to be the greatest gaming performer. It's not going to compete with those top tier Snapdragons, but it's going to get the job done, which is kind of the idea at this particular price point. All right, so one of the key features, maybe the key feature with this phone or for any phone at this price point right now, it's the new feature that people have started to get their hands on at this price point, which is fast charging, some level, some degree of fast charging. In this case, it's 33 watts. And you know, I want to check the animation because I get, you know, that gets me going, right? We've covered this previously. If I'm fast charging, I want to know I'm fast charging. Let's see what they did. Are you going to tell me I'm fast charging? Ah, supercharge, you got to see it. And you can watch it clock up in real time. I just love it, all right? Call me crazy, but to be able to, you know, because you plug the charger in, you're in a panic. It's a rough day, you're late for the task and you need a little juice and you just go like this and, and you're like, go, go, are you going? Are you going? Okay, you're charging, fine. And then you see the, the, the supercharge and it's a different level of confidence as you watch the power increase in real time. So that's pretty cool. I love to see that trickle down to the more affordable smartphones. It's something I've been using on many smartphones, but it's kind of a funny thought that there's still some very premium priced smartphones in 2020 that are not gonna charge as fast as something like this at a far more affordable price point. So it's cool to see it there. I'm sure many people will be attracted to it. Oh, I didn't do the selfie test. This one has two selfie cameras. So I gotta do that real quick and see if we can pick up the beard hairs or not. Uh, here we go. Three, two, one. And three, two, one. We have two different shots. There is your wide and there is your standard. The standard one looks a lot better to my eyeballs, the quality of it, sharpness, contrast compared to the wide, but the I guess the wide serves a purpose to try to get that group shot going if you wanna, like there's a practical component there, but the superior one is the standard focal range. All right, what can I say? Look, it's a budget smartphone. It's a, it's a value for money smartphone, I should say. Whether or not you call it budget kind of depends on the market in which it's being sold and, and you may be considering it. But at this price point is, is quite a feature set and it may not necessarily be the best at any one given thing, but what you're really looking at here is the spec list for the money, fast charge, 4,500 milliamp hour battery, versatility of cameras at least, even if they're not the best in the world, you've got at least a bunch of them to choose from. In this case, four different cameras, including an actual macro, which doesn't look that bad. So it's the 08 from Infinix. And just remember, I got a bunch of them, a bunch of extras to give away. That is one, two, three, four, five. Make sure you're subscribed here on YouTube, then go check the link in the description and follow that over to Twitter. Follow me there and get a shot at winning one of these. Good luck.